Storage unit auctions can be thrilling. It's a world full of possibilities. Anything can be inside one of those doors. Sometimes people get really lucky and find some incredibly valuable things. Other times though, they result in incredible failures and leave the buyers thinking they were better off just staying at home. These are the cases we're going to focus on now. From an actual human leg to a storage that belonged to a stalker, these are the top 10 storage units people regret buying. Amazing. Number 10. Human Leg Inside the storage unit that Shannon Wisnap bought, there was a barbecue smoker, which, let's face it, is a pretty good find. Who doesn't like a great barbecue? But there was a terrifying surprise waiting for Shannon when he opened the smoker. There was a mummified human leg inside. After overcoming the initial shock, Wisnant had an idea. He decided to turn this surprising discovery into gold by turning it into a roadside attraction. However, the leg's original owner caught wind of this and decided to claim the leg back. It was John Wood who had lost the limb in a plane crash. He decided to preserve the leg for personal reasons. Wisnant, though, didn't want to return the limb. He wanted to get famous from the whole situation. Eventually, the two went on a TV show where a judge deliberated over the dispute. Judge Greg Mathis then ordered Wisnant to return the leg and pay $5,000 to John Wood. A documentary was also made about this bizarre incident, named Finders Keepers. Number 9. Your Own Grandma One day, a family in Clearwater, Florida fell behind on their storage unit payments. The manager of the storage unit then notified the family. All the items inside the unit were going to be auctioned. The family, though, really didn't want that to happen. In fact, they said that the manager couldn't sell it. Why? Because their grandma was inside. Not living inside of it, though. The storage unit was her actual resting place. When opened, the police found the dead grandma inside a blue coffin. The granddaughter was the current one responsible for renting the storage unit. She told police that she learned about the blue coffin the year before. That's when her mother told her about it on her deathbed. That must have been quite a revelation. The police checked the body and said there wasn't anything suspicious about the cause of death. Apparently, the grandmother was already embalmed and preserved. The burial just never happened. While the improper disposal of a body is a crime, the police said they wouldn't be pressing charges against anyone. Number 8. Madonna's Stalker Storage Unit Back in 1995, Robert Dewey Hoskins was arrested for breaking into Madonna's household and fighting a security guard. He was also known for generally stalking the singer and making threats. This deranged individual eventually escaped in 2012, but was soon caught, thankfully. Also in 2012, coincidentally, his storage unit was auctioned off. After all, it's pretty hard to pay for storage when you're inside a jail. The things in the unit were creepy as hell, which shouldn't be a surprise if you think about it. Among the things in the storage unit, there was a headless baby doll and some home videos of children playing. Bear in mind, the stranger doesn't have any children, which makes his possessions even stranger. There was also a notebook full of his psychotic rants and a myriad of knives, including a butcher's knife. Also, they found a photo of him shirtless, proudly displaying the Madonna tattoo on his belly, alongside a framed photo of Madonna in the same pose. To top that all off, he even owned a pretty creepy and disturbing clown mask, and of course, a lot of different Madonna memorabilia too. So basically, the storage unit of a truly demented and dangerous person. Number 7. Action Comics Number 1 In 2011, a man probably thought he had struck gold. That's because inside the storage unit he had just won in an auction, there was the comic book Action Comics Number 1. For those who don't know it, it's one of the most valuable comic books of all time. It has the first ever appearance of Superman. The comic basically created the whole superhero genre, and it's estimated that only 100 copies of it are still around. This copy in particular was in excellent condition. It was probably worth over $1 million. So what's the catch, you ask? Why did this man regret his purchase? That's because he went from being a potential millionaire and back to being a nobody in just a short amount of time. Turns out this comic book was actually stolen from Nicolas Cage of all people. The comic was stolen in 2000 from Cage's home. 
Because of this, the man who found it couldn't sell it. It had to go back to the original owner. Nicholas Cage, happy that the comet came back to him, called it an act of divine providence. Eventually, the actor sold the comic for $2,161,000. Number 6. Human Organs Finding worthless items like completely broken cars must be a bummer for all storage unit buyers. After all, investing time and money only to find things like photo albums in someone's random family doesn't sound great. But at least those people didn't encounter disturbing things like actual human organs. That's what happened with Philip Knight in Florida. Right away after he bought the unit, he knew something was off. The whole unit smelled horrible. Then, after some quick investigations, Philip found over 100 organs. Most of them were poorly preserved inside soda cups and plastic containers. There were various body parts and organs, including human brains. Philip bought the unit for $900 and certainly got way more than he bargained for. After some further analysis, it was discovered that the storage belonged to a former medical examiner. Turns out, this doctor had been snatching away people's organs during autopsies and storing them. At the time of this discovery, the doctor had long stopped practicing. He kept the unit for three years before failing to pay rent. Eventually, he was arrested for improper storage of hazardous waste. Now that we're halfway, take a look at this car. It sold at auction and then went on to sell for even more on eBay. But why were a lot of people skeptical about the car? And how much do you think it sold for? I'll reveal the answers at the end of the video, so stay tuned. Number 5. Dead and Living Animals Tammy Lockwood is the vice president of the St. Petersburg Storage Protection Service in Florida. Because of that, she has seen a lot of weird things in her time. The findings that most stood out? Animals. Tammy has found bizarre things like a fish tank with petrified fish inside of it, the dried out husk of two dead iguanas, and a lot of dead snakes. More surprisingly, Tammy also has found quite her fair share of living animals as well, like a dormant python, or three tarantulas, two of which were in the process of eating each other. That's an image that stays with a person for the rest of their lives. Maybe less surprising, it's finding people living in the storage units, which has also happened a lot according to Tammy. She says that some people try to live in those spaces, which is something they're not supposed to do. Number 4. Guns During an auction, a couple in Oregon bought a storage unit for around $600. When they took a closer look, they found a bunch of gun tote bags that were filled to the brim. Naturally, the couple was excited. With so many bags, there must have been something valuable inside of them, right? Actually, no. Turns out, the gun tote bags were filled with empty water bottles. But this wouldn't turn into a success story if the couple had found actual guns in those tote bags. That's because in most states, the law requires that any type of weapons purchased in any kind of auction must be turned over to the police. That includes things like firearms, swords, and knives. The police then need to verify ownership of the weapon. Only then, the new owner can take possession of them. If they have a license to carry them, of course. Number 3. ID Theft Business When Brandon Michael bought a storage unit, he was filled with hope. He hoped that the storage unit had things that he could sell on eBay and make a profit. Well, that didn't happen at all. What he found was a complete ID theft business. There were boxes, filing cabinets, and trash bags full of passports, hospital records, birth certificates, and social security cards. Most of it had been stolen in the past two years. Not only that, he also found drug pills and the printer used to create all the documents. Naturally, the whole thing made Brandon anxious. After all, it's not a good look, possessing the ID of a bunch of different people. So, he contacted the police. They, however, just told him to throw everything away. But instead of doing that, Brandon handed it to a news station. The reporters did some investigations and found out that all the information was stolen from a hospital. Around 20 patient records were stolen. The hospital traced the stolen info to a former employee, Don Philbin, who had just been fired. Turns out, the former employee was working with the original owner of the storage unit, Paul Simmons. After the police stepped in, both of them were arrested. Number 2. 
a meth lab. Steve and Ken Bohannon bought a storage unit in Rancho Cordova, California for the low, low price of $80. What they found was something straight out of a Breaking Bad episode. They found all the necessary materials to make meth. They said that at first, everything seemed fine. However, they noticed that some boxes were labeled with a danger poison sign. They also found things like gas masks, pipes, and beakers. That's when they decided to call the police. Turns out, the boxes contained very hazardous meth lab equipment. This equipment was very old. They were also so dangerous that specialists with hazmat suits were called out to clean them. The police wasn't sure if the meth lab actually operated inside the storage unit or if it was just used to store all the lab equipment. Number 1. Frozen Cats In 2016, a man won a storage auction in Brooklyn, New York. The contents inside probably made him sick to his stomach. He found dead cats inside the storage unit. All of them were dead and frozen, and there was a lot of them. How many do you ask? In total, there were 40 cats. Can you imagine thinking you might make a quick buck out of a storage unit, only to find that it holds 40 frozen cats? The cats were stored in two different freezers. Each of them had been individually wrapped in either paper or plastic bags. One of the 40 cats was also skinned, for some unknown reason. The American Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals stepped in, taking the cats into custody so they could perform autopsies. The test, however, can't be done until the carcass is thawed out. Meanwhile, the police searched for the previous owner of the unit, who remains unknown. All in all, the mystery of the frozen cats is likely to remain unsolved for the rest of history. Maybe it's for the best. Now back to that stunning abandoned Corvette Z06. With only 720 miles showing on the odometer, this black-on-black -black C6 was barely taken out of the box when it was found, it would seem. Apparently, it was bought in a storage unit deal in Duluth, Georgia, according to the seller, who claimed the car had been abandoned. However, multiple publications raised their concern over the mysterious car. Even though the buyers checked that it wasn't stolen, it was found without paperwork meaning that if someone does come forward to claim the vehicle, it may be stripped away from the new owners by the courts. Even so, given this risk, it is a pristine find, and went on to sell on eBay for $57,500. That's a lot of money to pay for something that could potentially be taken away from you. So which find shocked you the most, and have you ever participated in a storage auction? Let me know in the comments down below. Thanks for watching.